Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Matthew Michael. And today in this video, I'll be talking about how to become financially free. If you're new here, please subscribe. I post a new video every week. On my channel, I make tips and tricks videos and how-to videos on how to save and make the most out of your money. I also plan to share business skills that I've learned throughout the years that I've ran my own business. Here on my channel, the goal is to build a community of like-minded individuals all focused on one goal, financial freedom. So please subscribe and join the family. All right, so let's get to it. The first mindset is, that you have to make a lot of money in order to become financially free. And while this helps, this definitely isn't the case. Though increases in income will help. Often when people start by increasing their income, they also increase their spending by trading in their lifestyle changes for more expensive ones. As a result, they have a lot more nice things, but they're still forced to work for their income. In this situation, when their income increases, if they were to maintain the same lifestyle they were living before their income increase, they would have an excess of income at the end of the month for their savings, which is necessary to create financial freedom. Let's hold on to the idea of having excess cash at the end of each month as we move on to the next mindset. The next mindset is that in order to be financially free, you can't spend any money on anything and that you need to save all your money until you have enough to where you can stop working. And while that's what people typically do for retirement, that's not financial freedom. Today, more than ever, people are having to come out of retirement and work because the money that they saved up just isn't enough. That's why it's important to focus on becoming financially free and not just on saving money. Financial freedom is that continuous money coming in. That's what we want. The next mindset is the ideal, more accelerated way to financial freedom. It focuses on increasing income and decreasing expenses. This in turn yields a massive amount of savings in comparison at the end of each month, which is a major step towards financial freedom. But just having a massive amount of savings isn't enough. In order to become financially free, you need to be able to continue to grow your money even while you sleep. No, I don't mean do a sleep study where you actually get paid for people to study while you sleep. If you want to be financially free, y'all, make sure y'all are listening. You have to use the money that you save in order to buy things that are going to continuously pay you no matter whether you work or not. Things that continuously pay you like this are called assets. The more that you're able to acquire or create, the greater your financial freedom. Once your assets pay you more than your expenses are for each month, you then have the choice on whether you want to work or not. You're financially free. At this point, you've made it to financial freedom. Can you see it? Can you see it already? If you can dream it, you can do it. I wanna know what steps are y'all taking toward financial freedom? And let me know down below in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video in my financial freedom series where I discuss the different kinds of assets and how much they bring in. And if y'all like this video, make sure that y'all smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and join the family. Thanks for watching guys. See y'all in the next video.